Now, a campaign finance investigation against Democratic gubernatorial nominee Stacey Abrams is moving forward. The State Ethics Commission found probable cause that two nonprofit groups back in 2018 raised and spent millions to support Democratic candidates, including Abrams. Under Georgia law, groups campaigning for candidates must disclose how much they raise and how much they spent. Senior IT reporter Dale Russell says critics say politics is at play. We're happy that the facts and evidence we've known for a while have come to light. Ethics Commission Director David Amati is pleased the commission voted to proceed with the campaign finance case against a nonprofit organization founded by Democratic gubernatorial nominee Stacey Abrams. We think it's good for the Georgia voters to know who's bankrolling their elections and how they're trying to influence them. But the director of that nonprofit New Georgia project, Francis, Francis Johnson. Johnson, says this is all election year game playing. Mr. Johnson, are you saying all this is political? I'm saying that this is off, off, off Broadway um, in the smoky uh, halls of this uh, legislative building, um, a predestined conclusion was reached today. The Ethics Commission staff filed a formal complaint that alleges the New Georgia Project and a second nonprofit linked to them raised and spent some seven million undisclosed dollars. The staff contends some of that money was spent supporting a slate of Democratic candidates, including Stacey Abrams, during the 2018 gubernatorial election. It's not that we are trying to hide who supports these organizations. New Georgia Project lawyer Aria Branch argued the two nonprofits are not required by law to disclose who donated to the nonprofits or what they spent money on. We have a, a, a different script for during the week. But ethics staff attorney Joseph Cusack countered with a PowerPoint presentation outlining how those nonprofits canvass neighborhoods, handing out at least 170,000 flyers supporting Democratic candidates, including Abrams. But it comes down to canvassing and, you know, electioneering and phone banking and texting and trying to influence voters. I'll make a motion that we find that there are reasonable grounds to believe that the Campaign Finance Act was violated when the... The commission seemed to agree unanimously voting to find enough probable cause to continue the campaign finance case. A case New Georgia Project Chairman Francis Johnson says they'll be glad to battle. This is just a preliminary hearing. We still have to go through a hearing and we're going to fight all the way. There's still a lot of investigation to be done in this case and depositions soon will be taken. According to one staffer with the State Ethics Commission, this case won't wrap up until after the upcoming gubernatorial election. From the state capitol, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.